I wanted to start out this evening with the scripture. Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Amen. This past year, there's been many changes for me and my household. Sorry. There has been discouraging moments. There's been joyous moments. There have been hard times and times of ease. So to start, we're going to go back to the beginning of 2014. In January, we were living in a very, very small house. And we decided to try to buy a house. We've done this many times over the past nine and a half years of our marriage. Um, we prayed a lot, and we left it ultimately in the Lord's hands. So we contacted two wonderful women who we found out later were very God-fearing women. Um, so we began the process of, of purchasing our house, and in the time that of purchasing this, we set we sorry we endured setbacks after setback. To name a few, uh, we were almost disqualified from the loan. Uh, we found out that our home was in a flood zone, and we had to jump through several different hoops in order to close on our house. Through the entire process. Even though it was extremely stressful, we always told each other that if it was the Lord's will for us to own a home, that it would come to pass. One thing my mom, Sister Anita, said to me was that the good of the Lord will come to those that love him. So after our closing date being pushed back several times over the course of a whole month, we finally signed the papers and we now own our own home. We have hosted Brethren for the Renewal. We got to host a family of 10, which was a blessing. <laughs> um, we got to host the Henderson Brethren for the Preaching Festival, and we've also been able to have a ladies' meeting so far in our house. The, and we wanted, we didn't want to buy a house just so we could say we own a house. We wanted to buy a house so we could have Brethren in our home and use our home for the brethren to bless the Lord. Ephesians 6, 4, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So during this time that we were buying the house, we had to make a decision if we were going to continue to homeschool our children or if we were going to send them to public school. Um, we were... And it wasn't because we couldn't school them at the house. It was due to us thinking we didn't have the time to school them. Um, we both worked full-time jobs, 40 hours a week between the two of us. And we didn't get to see each other very much except for at that time on the weekends. Um, I can testify that when you think you don't have enough time, the Lord will show you different. A blessing in disguise of a new job. And to back up a little bit, I worked at Hardee's for over four years. And in the course of working there, I felt like I had gained very little advancement in the kingdom. And this was very discouraging to me. So because I recognized this, I decided to look for another job. I now work at a public school system as a lunch lady, which is kind of ironic since I homeschool. <laughs> um, but I now enjoy getting up and being able to go to work. Even though I can't speak of the Lord to the children at the school because it's a public school, <clears throat> pardon me, I get to talk with them and I get to shine my light in other ways. Um, I get to talk with them as they come through the line, and a lot of them bring up church and Jesus. And one little boy came up to me and said, you know when you die, you get to go to heaven. He doesn't know what a blessing he was to me. He made my soul rejoice that day. Sorry. This new job 
has opened up more time for us to school our children in the home that the Lord provided for us. Daniel teaches them in the mornings while I'm at work, and then when I get home, I teach them in the afternoon. <clears throat> this year, I have also noticed the kids' interest in God being increased. And this is not necessarily due to myself or to Daniel. It is due to all of the brethren here and the Lord opening their hearts. They're asking more questions. Some of them even cause me to have to pull out my Bible and search for the answer. Elizabeth has been asking about baptism a lot more and asking to read the Bible on my iPad. She's even searching out scriptures in her own Bible that she has. We have been working on memorizing scriptures more this year. I hate to admit, but in the past, we haven't worked on memorization as much as we should. <clears throat> but thanks be to God, we are now working on it more. Um, we're now basing our disciplining more on the scriptures, and we back our disciplining up with what Jesus has said. For example, one of the scriptures we just learned uh, is Colossians 3.20, which says, Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. This scripture has been used several times a day in our house. <laughs> um, also, when we sit down for dinner, it's a race to see which one of the kids will pray first. And we can't start eating until all three of them have prayed, which is a blessing knowing my youngest, who is only three. <laughs> um, if one of them doesn't pray, they get upset. Or they'll ask, well, why didn't so-and-so pray? Some people might think it annoying to have to go through all three children to pray before you can start eating, but we see it as a blessing, and we encourage them to pray. Amen. And last but not least, Brother Aaron asked me to do a reflection tonight, which I'm not keen on public speaking, but I decided that since he asked me, it was from the Lord. So I prayed that our family would be well so we could attend. Well, my personal way of the prayer being answered was none of us to be sick at all during this Christmas season, that we would go through the whole Christmas break and being well. Well, the Lord had a different answer. Um, he doesn't answer how we necessarily want it. He answers how he sees fit. So the last day that I was supposed to be in school, all five of us got the flu at the same time. We were all sick between three to four days, and thankfully we were all sick together at the same time and not one after the other. Um, so my prayers were answered. We are all well. We're all here tonight, except for Daniel, because he has to work. And it's a blessing to know that even though it's not how I wanted my prayer answered, it's how the Lord saw fit for us to want to be here. So back to my opening scripture, Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. The past year, we made our requests known unto God. And even though they weren't answered how we wanted, they were answered in the way they needed to be.